Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to see these guys, even if they get absolutely blown out of the water in the first game, um, mm. switch characters. And, you know, if Salem and Wizzy get blown out in the first game, we could see Salem switch his character choice up. But either way, Heapnot and Goblin, two of the best players in the region. I believe Goblin currently ranked first in CFL. Uh, him and Dyer really leading the pack there. And then Heapnot and Arfang have been the best in uh, so uh, Southern Carolina. Uh, South Carolina, I almost called it SoCal. <laughs> Could you imagine? I mean, it, 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 it technically so 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 cow car so car so car so car, it's so car dude. So ca I don't like that. It's no, not me Roth neither. Yeah, it's not Roth. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Yeah, exactly. Either way, we've got Salem leading the charge right now with that charging star dash attack essence of Captain America from Marvel. Ooh, stars and stripes, man. Looking for it. Oh, gets the flood trying to. I feel like the flood's gonna be a really good tool against the likes of Roy. Nice call because that up smash is active for so long that of course the wind up and back throw from Mario is gonna give all the time he needs to charge it up. Yeah, that's a great team combo right there. We saw Sam only land the weak hit, but the strong one gonna come through, clean up Roy's stock. Goblin down to his second at this point, but oh, another attempt at the follow-up. But of course, due to the, how fast the knockback is in this game, it's a little bit tough for team combos to go through unless you're extra ready yeah. for it. And that's like the the benefits of having a Mario on your team. Ever since like the good old days of or early Smash Bros, you know, like Smash 64 even, like Mario's always been a good teammate just based on back throw alone because the, the, there's a wind up to it. You know what he's gonna do it. There's no there's no like synchronization, you know, you don't have to be on the same uh same wavelength with your teammate, you just see it happening and you're ready. Yeah, give him the so long King Bowser. Yeah, exactly. Of course that's not what we really say, but uh, what what yeah. you really say, man? <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> Peace, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, and of course we've got the hitbox of the Opponent that you're uh, and it pushes actually against doing the opponent. with the backer. Yeah, of yep. course, the way to counterplay that, you block it once, and then you have all the time in the world to hit him. But hey, either way, it's looking like a pretty convincing lead here for Salem and Wizzy. Wizzy finally going to drop that first stock. Salem hanging on with not all that much percent. You know, 106, not great, but not terrible. It's not like a stray hit's going to take care of him. There we go. Like you said, Aussie, so many active frames on that move. Even the sweet spot lasts for quite a while. Salem going to find it that time, and we've got a really, really good lead. Oh, wow, and he's still alive. Yeah, see, there we go. Like, bad percent, but not too bad. Yeah, Salem is literally the stock tank right here. Going for the double dash tech to call out that aggressive reaction. It's in very pretty going in there. Just going for the punishes upon the punishes. And the second you see Roy off stage again, you want to try to capitalize on that. There we go, Goblin trying to go for the side to be off with the jab. A little bit too slow on that. And honestly, this could be why Salem's actually playing as Palutena. It's because of that up smash combined with Mario's back throw. You know, it's really easy to time that because it so long, lasts long, but that might be honestly truly be the reason. That's a really on. cool strategy. I yeah. mean, it's kind it of works. like one track minded, right? But as long as Salem's Palutena is able to be very competent in other, uh, other aspects of the game, then we don't have to worry too much. Which so far, these edge guards have been destructive. Yep. There we go. And we've got a potential five stock in the works. Don't let this fool you guys. Goblin and Peepnut are extremely good players. Yeah. But I can't imagine that they've ever teamed before, whereas Dark Wizzy and Salem every tournament. And there you go. That back throw is so easy to react to all the time in the world for you. And we're going to see Wizzy and Salem take a really dominant game one. How many kills did they get off of back throw up smash alone? I feel like there was four. Four I of those six stocks. Three. Maybe three. Yeah, yeah I but mean, I don't. I don't actually know. They they landed a lot, man. Just it just the second you saw it was a two v one, they were definitely just trying to go into placement, especially on the likes of PS two, which puts the back throw puts the opponent at such a perfect angle for them to just chill on that platform, catch that up smash. So just a really good pack. I, honestly, I'm, I'm, we're going to see some uh, stage counter picks coming out from Goblin and Peepnut. Maybe getting rid of the platforms from the likes of PS2 to, so they aren't right, able to right. set that up as easily. like Or go to like a little smaller stage, more intimate, like Battlefield or Smashville. I mean, that said, the Pillar of Light hits so high that it doesn't right. really matter. So I don't think they're going to be able to counter pick around this strategy. I think probably just shrinking the floor plan is right. going to be the best plan for them. Um, so Smashville, Battlefield, maybe. Yeah, definitely want to go to one of those. So we'll, we'll see what the... Uh, Things are going to happen. And honestly, like you said, with the Palutena coming out from Salem, if that didn't work out and they did lose the game, Salem would obviously be able to have the ability to change characters. Okay, this this little back throw up smash isn't working as well, but as long as, it's, as, long as you get that game won, you know, it's, it's like a gambit, I like to say. Real quick aside before we go into this game, I had a dream that there was a match taking place on Hazards on Smashville. And so like the platform was moving and it just felt so unfamiliar and I was like, man, what is this? What is the world that I'm living in right now where I that feel like, like I haven't a, seen this in years? That, that sounds like an incredibly interesting dream, Max. And that was literally <laughs> all I remember. Oh, and I also <laughs> remember that the main platform of the stage was super short for some reason and I was so thrown off. I woke up in a cold sweat like... <laughs> the rules didn't change, right? Not supposed to the look rules like that. didn't change, right? Oh my god, could you... I mean, so what are your thoughts on like Hazard Smashville, man? Because I, I kind of miss it. I miss it a little bit. <laughs> 
I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I haven't thought about it enough to really have an right. opinion. But I, I feel it. Yeah, here we go. So Double's we top 24 now, by the way. We have escaped the pool's barrier. And this is more dominant than any of the matches we saw in pools. Yeah, exactly. Which, which is kind of nutso when you think about it. That was a five stock. Yeah, Dark Wizzy and Salem, of course, Genesis champions in doubles. So there's no reason to doubt these guys and their prowess. I think they are still the favorite to win here. Even if you might see individually stronger players on any given team here, like Nairo or Light, right? It's nothing to be too concerned with for these guys because yeah. their synergy is unmatched. And their rehearsal as well. They have played together so much more. They've lived together occasionally, play at every tournament that they both attend together. And you know, going to that smaller stage of like the likes of Smash will definitely like, benefiting them a little bit, especially with the likes of Roy. Right? Roy loves that, like being able to just close that, uh, being close quarters with his opponents at all times. Yeah. You're not supposed to space with this character. All the airspeed in the world, plenty of ground speed as well. Just gets right in there and infiltrates. Meanwhile, Palutena, of course, she likes to hang back. Wow! No, wow! Back the throw. eagle eye. Put it, from put, Salem. put it into the books, man. I mean, the, the entire time you saw Salem trying to chill in the back, just waiting for uh, just um, Dark Wizzy to just run in there and get a grab. The awareness is just absolutely through yeah. the roof. And that, that requires you to trust your teammate, too. They just didn't chill that far back. Yeah, and I like that the way that it opens up is relatively risk-free. Mario going for a back throw, even though it's got a lot of wind-up. You, know, you do have to deal with the body hitbox of your opponent. So it's a pretty safe way to start one of their biggest finishers. Ooh, Salem almost able to close Peepnut out off the top of the screen there. But this is a lot closer of a margin than it was last match. You can see both Sam or Wizzy go out relatively soon. Up smash out of shield. Yes, that's going to do it. But the immediate revenge. We're going to see Peep not get KO'd himself. And that was an example of optimal doubles, man. Like, everyone was just punishing each other. Yes, exactly. You're going to see three people get hit right in a row, and then one guy left to be like, all right, now we're going to well, yeah, I'm just going to punish the air. Okay, trying to send him up with the down airs. You see a lot of pressure coming out from uh, Peep Nut. It sounds Palutena. It holds up, man. Everything checks out with this yeah. thing. No weird moments of unfamiliarity. He's got some pretty nice looking combos. Feels like a pilot, man. Yeah, drag down neutral airs. Oh, never mind. That that didn't yeah. feel like Apollo right there, but Jab? also a little bit of a weird interaction with the platform. Wow, Wizzy. He almost, almost got that to down air. Here. I could not believe that. Okay, he's getting back onto the stage. You see uh, Goblin just trying to get this kill against Wizzy. I feel like that's one of their biggest threats is trying to get rid of the Mario. Because here, oh, here we go. We what? Wait, oh, he broke him out. Yeah. Broke him out yeah. Good stuff. He had to. Oh, Salem looking like he was holding him there for Wizzy. But it was some misdirection. They threw each other off there. Pretty rare yeah. from a team that generally looks pretty well composed. A little bit of miscommunication. That's okay. They still got one stock out of it. Right down. That. One hit of Nair into grab from Paulo. That's some clean stuff. I don't see enough actual Paulo mains doing that. So props to Sound pushing the meta a little bit in his own right. He's just going to call that out with the Angel Wings forward smash. Back to neutral, four stocks to two. Thing. Uh, you can tell things are looking a little bleak here for blue team, but definitely not out of the ballpark. Of dual, you know, it's still doable. Got the up air chains from oh Wizzy. God. Yes, two out of the short hop to make sure he got the optimal finisher, or rather the optimal extension. Yeah, and he sends it right off the platform too. And now they got them both off stage. Wizzy going super deep with that neutral air, going to try to challenge Blazer. Wow, the forward smash from all the way over there. Going to take care of Dark Wizzy, but I don't know. Is this too little too late, man? I'm starting to think it might be. Peep Nut and Goblin putting up an honest, good fight here. Wow, oh, that's another really great asset Palutena has in doubles. She has Explosive Flame that ignores everything in its path and just spawns in a set location. Throw it. Yeah, you can protect your partner without having to worry about hitting them on the way. Any other projectile would pretty much fall victim to that. And Tail hasn't really been doing that at all until the very end there, and now it's looking pretty bleak and to be able to... Honestly, if you try to air dodge into the ledge, that down smash coverage from Dark Wizzy would have killed him, so that, that was pretty much a check rate situation. So that's going to be a 2-0 victory. In the favor of MVG boys, you got Dark Wizzy and Salem taking that pretty dominating W. Yeah, that was very convincing.